what's up legends today we're gonna do the project library so project library is the first project in the javascript track so hopefully by now you've already gotten yourself familiar with uh javascript and html and css the basics of javascript at least uh so i really encourage everyone to go through this uh introductory module and what project library really is about is about practicing how to organize your code using objects and objects constructors so i'm first gonna show you guys how it's gonna look like then i'm gonna show you guys step by step how to build this project and finally i'm gonna step through the code so you can see line by line what is going on okay so let's get started by looking at how it will look like so basically i'll have a, new, a button a new button that once i click will create this uh form that has a bunch of information for the user to input so i can put the title for example stillness is the key this is a very good book i've been reading lately by ryan uh holiday let's say it has 300 pages and read and the idea is that i'm gonna create a card that has the title the name of the author the number of pages and i can toggle whether it's red and not red right so right now it's actually kind of ugly because it has this blue background we'll try to remove this later so another thing we'll be able to do is to remove and we can add new books so discipline this is actually you no know, uh, obstacle is the way is another of Ryan Holiday's books. So that's it. So this actually looks kind of simple, but it's not as simple as it looks like, as there is a lot of JavaScript logic, a lot of little things that actually make this project not super hard, but not as easy as it looks like, okay? So I'm gonna make the assumption here that you've already learned a lot of CSS and HTML. So the main focus of this project is really on the Java. I'm gonna skim over the CSS code, but if you wanna like really understand how it looks like, uh, I'd recommend going over our github page if you look at the description we have a link where you can get the code for this project but without further ado let's start with the project okay so let's get started with the project so the first thing is to create a skeleton i already did just to save up some time so if you guys we basically need three files so we need a html so we've been doing this a hundred times with the videos with giovanna so you have a doc type html body had nothing new here remember to link to your css file so i have a book.css and also with your script page so that things are connected i always like to do like a little console log on the uh, javascript just to make sure things are working and connected correctly so let's actually take a look here to make sure things are working so console.log hello hello and then we're gonna see if it is work so let's take a look here let me refresh this and then remember to see if you want to open the console you can click click on, uh, on inspect and then you should see hello so that means that our javascript file is con connected to our html file i've already as i mentioned at the beginning the focus of this is this project is really this javascript so if you want to have access to this css you can look at the description you can even reuse this we will definitely uh skim through it play around with this so you'll reveal all the properties but since we've already worked on those uh for the sake of explaining javascript i'll already have the code here okay so let's start by uh following the structure so what is the first thing that we're gonna do so he's saying we're gonna have an array that will contain the library and again remember the focus of this project is objects so definitely have in mind that you probably want to do some something where you're going to create a book so probably you're going to have a list of book objects that will probably be inserted in the array through this function so if you haven't done so go ahead and put on the books.js this three boilerplate variables so the my library array the book function uh and the add book to library okay so now let's start with the first task where you're actually doing some sort of work so the first thing we want to do is to write a function that loops through an array and display each book on the page he advises this should be done before Four, but actually i'll skip to step four and then go back to three you guys will see why so the first thing we're gonna do is to add a new book but so let's go ahead and add on our html a new book button so let's come here and we want to give it let me write it down here so here over here so we're gonna create a button let's give it an id of new book button the text will be new book and we're gonna have a button close down let's save Control s remember to always save and then we go to the uh we're gonna see the result let's refresh and it's still showing how Hello, let me see what's happening. Did I save? No, I did not save because I'm not used to a Mac. <laughs> so let's go here. So now we see the new book. So again, I said that we already have uh, the CSS code, but let's quickly explore the code for this CSS. Let's play around with this here. So you can click at the corner and you can 
inspect by hovering over the element so you can see that all the properties but you can also come here and play around with the property so whenever you want to find out like usually when you start working you're going to get code that is already written if you want to play around you can select and deselect so observe the display block kind of takes it to the left so the display block uh, will make sure that the the item goes across the page so if we remove it it goes to the left this is responsible the margin zero auto is responsible for centralizing if we remove padding observe that the space around the text disappears the font size the color we can change blah 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 blah, blah. the cursor pointer is when we point to the button you see this little hand so all those things you should already be familiar so the next step so this is our new button so it's important to give you an id so you can style it so in our case we styled on book.js all that css that you guys saw was already there okay so now uh that we have the button let's go to the next step that the project is asking so once we click on the button it's going to bring a form that allows users to input the details for the book so author title numbers of pages and if it's being read or not so there is a couple of things right so we're gonna have to have a form on our html to submit to the book and he says that it will bring up a form so it's gonna be hidden when we start and then once we click it's gonna show up so let's start with that so what we want is to create a form and the form we want to have all those items that they describe right so the, the title uh, the number of pages so i'm gonna give here so this is an interesting trick i'm gonna do and you guys will see why i'm gonna put the style of the form as display none so this will make this form hidden at first okay so form and then let's create a label so this will create kind of label for each input field so title i'm used to working on a uh, windows machine so still kind of getting back to the to my mac so then i'm gonna give it an id observe it's important to give an id so we can like grab the data in our javascript i'm gonna kind of just copy this over i'm forgetting the shortcuts let me just do copy and paste promise next video i'll, re I'll relearn the mac shortcuts so uh so here i'm gonna have an author author and just to save for the sake of time i'm just gonna add all the fields because they're pretty much copy and paste okay so i've added a form with the id let's see how it looks like now that we've saved so if we refresh and we click on new book nothing happens so why is nothing happening because i just created a form on html right so now i need to handle the event of click one thing that i like doing is to do like an alert so you guys will see what i mean by doing an alert it's kind of like a hello world but just to make sure things are working fine so what is the button we want to attach an event on it's the new uh book button right so let's add a event listener to this so the first thing we want is to grab the the, the button so i'll call this new book button and document dot get element by id one another one it's being used a lot recently is create selector so let's stick with this one and we're gonna do new book btn so this will grab the book and we're gonna attach a event list to it so the event listener is basically waiting for a click right let me remove this and this so it's easier to see this is called zen mode so if you want to try this on your vs code this command kz or control kz on a wing so now we're gonna do a click event and we're gonna once the user clicks we want it to show up so in order for it to show up we will first grab the form so we can do it by the element id so the idea of the form is, if you remember, new book form. And then we can add a display. So we can add display style, display style, display block, okay? Before we try this, so let's do what I said. We want to make sure this is working. So let's just do an alert. So I'll do an alert, hello world. So once we click, an alert message should show up. So that means the event is working as we expected. So if we click hello, uh, new book, it says hello world, which is what we expect. Now, if we remove this and we uncomment this section, what we want to happen is for the form to show up because remember we were uh displaying as none so uh it's not it's invisible right so now if we refresh and we click on the button so nothing happens let's see so we just verified that the click works so probably so this the the code outside is working now let's see this is good because you guys see the debugging process so i'll see if we are grabbing the variable correctly so let's see this and i already caught the bug but let's see just for learning purposes so if i click i should see what i console which is the new book form but you can see on the console it already tells you what's wrong right because basically i did not put the quotation marks already around the block so if we save now the form is going to show up so if we come here and we click on new it should show up let me see if everything is working as i expect blah 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 new book form style display there is a typo okay now it's gonna show. let me just save and let me go here crash and now the form is showing up remember the css is already done for us so that's good so 
so we made some progress so far so now what we want is to click on this button and add remember from the demo we want the card over here so before we do any of the cards the display of we want to be able to create a book object right so this is what we're gonna do next we want some way where we can store all this information and encapsulate it somewhere so the way we're gonna do it is through the book object so remember that first we're gonna need the parameters so we want the of the title the author pages read and we also want the information over here so this dot title equals title this dot author equals author this dot pages equals pages and this dot read equals read so this is initializing a book so basically once we click i'm gonna kind of give you the thoughts process right so once we click on the add book we will want to somehow create a new book and put it in my library that's the general idea so we're gonna have an event listener kind of similar to what we have here that is gonna call the add book library and that is gonna create books for us before we do that uh let's uh let's actually create a place no let's let's add uh the let's work on the add book library then let's work on that so once the customer the of our library clicks on that button we need to obtain each one of those information so let's actually do that so i'm gonna grab the title document query selector title and i want the value so you use the property value i want the property of the title field let me copy and paste the remaining items for the sake of speed and now that we have all the information we can actually create a new object so the good thing about creating an object is that all the information regarding uh, a book is encapsulated inside of this object so this is a very good way this chapter is about organizing your code so instead of having like a title in a variable an author in a variable you are encapsulating everything here so let's actually create a, a object so we're going to use this keyword called new and we're going to assign it author pages and red so now we created a new object let's for now console.log that to make sure that it looks good so i'm gonna save and i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna start over so uh godfather mario puzzle 300 and i have red so once i click it should show on the console did it not show let's see why did i save yeah so basically i don't have an event handler that calls the add book library so let's start by adding that event handler to the new book button so uh let's do that i'm gonna create an event land so query selector so the remember i uh we have a, a book we have a, a button let me show you guys on the HTML, which is that submit button called add book. Uh, so we're gonna add an event listener to that. Does it have a uh, does it have a ID new book form? So actually the ID I'm getting the ID not of the button but of the form. So new book form. So every form uh, has a, a an ID and a button. So I'm gonna add an event listener to the form. Event listener. Once I click on submit, I will do something to it. So let's make sure that it's working. I'm gonna do alert. Hello world. Okay. Let me save. Did I save? I think I did. Yes. So now let me just put some random stuff and it didn't say. Uh, let me save this. Query selector, new book form, new book form, submit. I think the reason nothing is happening is because of what they say here. So tries to send the data. You will most likely a reach, uh, uh, an issue where submitting your form will not do what you want because submit by default tries to submit to the back end. So since we don't have a back end yet, we need to disable this default behavior. So we're going to do uh, event prefault event here so now we should see the alert ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta -ta, ta -ta. there we go so now it's looking good and now we can do our add book to library call so let's do the add book to library call uh and it should console the new book object let me refresh this so you can see that it looks good right so the new object that we created is showing up on the console which is great so we did that now we need a way to render that so instead of just showing on the console we want it to actually show up on the html so we're going to create a function called render whose purpose is to show uh on the html before we do that observe that the event it, it is working but uh observe that there's something here wrong right because i'm not specifying the event inside of the function so you can observe that now it disappeared so now we're gonna render the books so let's take a look at that before we do that i'm gonna add the book to my array and let's actually see how the array looks like on the console so refresh a a a so you can see 
see here, but now if I change to B, 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 we have an array with two elements. The first one has everything A, the everything B. So everything looks good so far. So now we need to have a way of rendering this. So I'm actually going to create a render function. So the function, the purpose of the render function is to render, so to display uh, the items of the my library array on the HTML. So how are we going to do this? So first we're going to go to our books.html and we're going to add a div that is going to contain the cards for a new book. So we have a div. And what we're going to do is we're going to basically, as we create new books, put the new books in the array, we're going to put inside of this div in the library. All right. So now first step for us is to like make something show up. So let me create a render function and I'm going to create a library called library book and I'm going to create a uh, grab create selector. I'm going to create grab the element that the div we just created and I'm going to create a for loop. So the idea of the for loop is that we go over the my library array and display each book that we displayed. So I'm going to use my why it's less than my library the link I++. Uh, for now, let's just console the log uh, the my library i element. Let's see if this works. So I saved. So it should show up in the console. Let me first add. Every time we refresh, since we're not using a backend or any kind of storage, the, the data disappears. So we need to add again. Okay. Observe that we have, we uh, it, it displayed the, uh, like the first time we added, it displayed the book we added and the second time it displayed the book A and the book B. So it is working as expected. It's looping over the my library.